Hi folks, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements and the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2021 looking at some of the new features in the program. Now one new feature, one of the most obvious new features and also one of the most profound new features is that you can now save your photos and your PSD files to the cloud as well as to your hard drive. Now the cloud is of course up on the Adobe site and there are a number of reasons to save to the cloud. For instance, if you save to the cloud, you'll have a permanent backup of your file. It will be out there on the cloud. If anything ever happens to your computer, you can still access it. The other advantage to saving to the cloud is that you will be able to access it from any computer in the world, any computer that you're logged into your account or logged into Photoshop Elements on, you'll be able to go up to the cloud and have access to that file. Now the way you save to the cloud, it's available the first time you save a photo file or a PSD file. It's also available if you choose Save As, which I'll go up here to File and select Save As. And you get this option screen and the option screen is either to save to your computer or save to the cloud. And of course you can remember the preference and permanently save to one of those locations and bypass this screen in the future. If you select Save to the Cloud and click Continue, it will be saved to the cloud. If on the other hand, you choose to Save As and select the option to Save to your computer, even then when you go to the Save As screen, you notice that you have the option still to Save to the Cloud if you prefer. When it comes to recovering the file or opening the file, if you go to recently opened files, you notice that a number of my files here have a little cloud next to them. Those are the files that are saved to the Creative Cloud. If I select File Open, by default I go to the files that are on my computer, but once again, Open Cloud Photos is available here on the screen. Now these files are saved to the Creative Cloud. So if you happen to have the Creative Cloud suite or any of the programs in the Creative Cloud as part of your subscription, you can simply go over here to your work in the upper left hand corner, your documents or cloud documents, and here's our folder for Elements Photos. And these are the photos that I have saved to the cloud. Now I'm not sure why Adobe has added this to the program. As I say, there are a number of advantages to being able to save to the cloud, but I don't know if ultimately the plan is to integrate the Elements programs into the cloud subscription, or if this will just be an added feature added to Photoshop Elements and ultimately maybe even Premiere Elements, so that you'll have the option of saving to the Creative Cloud, just as if you had a subscription to one of the Creative Cloud apps. But any way you look at it, a major step forward here for Photoshop Elements. Now, if you want to know more about Photoshop Elements, all the new features and all of the old features here in the program, you'll want to check out the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's available at Amazon.com. If you've got any questions at all, please drop by our free community forum at MoviePix.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. I wrote the books, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.